Hi, sisters and brothers. Okay, so I'm uh, being led by the Holy Spirit to get on here real quick. I am uh, actually at my mother's house <laughs> uh, for the weekend, and uh, anyways, I'm here by myself. Okay, now, I know a lot of us are expecting to see him at any moment. In fact, a lot of us, including myself, or expecting to see him anywhere from you know today tomorrow might even be sometime next week and that is okay that we are expecting him all right a lot of people will say you know uh oh false prophet you know if he doesn't come and it's wrong to you know but but it's not wrong he wants us to be excited. He wants us to be waiting and watching. Now, does he want us to be waiting and watching and, and like basically sitting in, ch in a chair and doing nothing else? No, of course not. He wants us to do everything that we can for the sake of his kingdom while we are here. So let him lead and guide you. He will tell you what he wants you to do. But... We are expecting him to come any day now, and that is okay. Uh, you have to forgive me. That's uh, one of my mom's dogs. Uh, she's whining. Who <laughs> wants to get up here? So that is okay. That's uh, my husband. The devil really wants to interrupt right now, but that's okay because you know what? We rebuke him in the name of the blood of Jesus Christ. We have authority, brothers and sisters, over Satan and his minions. He has nothing over the blood of Jesus Christ. You know, so we rebuke him. Unable, we bind him, cast him, unable to do anything to uh, stop this video from getting out. In the name and the blood of Jesus Christ. So, <laughs> it is okay to be excited because he is coming. We don't know when. We don't know if it's today. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. <coughs> we don't know <coughs> if it's tomorrow. You know, we don't know when, but... I have hope and confidence as well as many others. Many of you that I have spoken with have the same hope and confidence that he is coming now, you know, today, tomorrow, next week. But, okay, if he does not come today, if he does not come tomorrow, do not give up. Don't give up, you know, stay with him. Stay in his love. Let him lead and guide your every step. Always, always, always ask for forgiveness. Because there are things, you know, for example, me and you, all of us, none of us are perfect. We do things throughout the day that we may not even know um, our sin or, you know, that, that we need to ask forgiveness for. Ask forgiveness for the known and the unknown regardless. But he is coming. Rejoice. But don't leave him if he doesn't show up today or tomorrow or, you know, even if he doesn't show up this month. Now, granted, and this is my opinion based on, uh, and many other, many other brothers and sisters in Christ, their opinion based on what he has shown us. Uh, shown them in dreams and visions, what he has told me in words, what he has told me privately, um, that he's coming now, you know, so, but if he doesn't, don't give up, draw even closer to him, stay in his love, stay pure, you know, have a pure heart. And that doesn't mean that you don't make mistakes. <laughs> I make mistakes. You make mistakes. We all make mistakes. But we ask forgiveness. And we love how he loves. We do not show hatred. You know, we do not judge. Forgive me. That is, oh, that's my mother.
Okay, <laughs> so you have to forgive me. Ah, oh, yet another interruption. I had to uh, take a phone call from my mother. Anyways, just stay in him. Stay in his love, okay? And put your complete trust and faith in him. And, and I know that's easier said than done, but, and this dog won't leave me alone, <laughs> little weenie dog, uh, you know, that's easier said than done, but if, as long as you are willing to, she's so distracting, <laughs> as long as you are willing to surrender and throw your hands up and say, Lord, I'll do whatever you want me to do, here I am, you know? Put your trust and faith in him. But he is coming. He is coming. I love you all so much. Shalom.